हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टूडेज डिस्कशन ऑफ द क्विज क्वेश्चन नव मसल फिजियोलॉजी नाव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अलैंगर गैसर क्लासीफिकेशन अलैंगर ग्लासीफर गैसर क्लासीफाइड नर्वस ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ माइलन शीट एंड वी वेरी वेल नो दैट ही क्लासीफाइड बोथ सेंसरी एंड मोटर नर्व फाइबर्स एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट ए एल्फा इज द थिकेस्ट एंड हैज़ मैक्म माइलिन वेर एज सी एल्फा माइलिन इज एबसेंट एंड इज द थेस्ट सो वी नो दैट माइलिन इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर फास्टर कंडक्शन हैंज द कंडक्शन वेलासिटी ऑफ ए एल्फा इज वन ट्वेंटी मीटर पर सेकेंड वेयर इज दैट ऑफ सी इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड दैट इज द लीस्ट हैंज इज द ऑर्डर एंड हैंज इज द आंसर नंबर बी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज अ प्योर मोटर नर्व फाइबर अगेन अकॉर्डिंग टू द क्लासिफिकेशन वी नो दैट ए गामा इज प्योरली मोटर क्लासिफिकेशन ए बीटा इज प्योरली सेंसरी नर्व फाइबर नाउ दिस इज अ क्लिनिकल सॉर्ट ऑफ क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन वॉट हैपन्स इज दैट ए एल्फा एंड ए बीटा आर लार्ज डायामीटर फाइबर्स सो दे आर वेरी प्रोन टू कंप्रेशन सो दिस इज द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ दिस इज अ फैक्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन नर्व इंजरी विद द बेस्ट प्रोग्नोसिस इज रेडियल नर्व Uh, and uh, we will see this in orthopedic conditions chromatolysis is again a fact based question uh, during valerian degeneration as we all know valerian degeneration is a distal type of degeneration and when it goes to the proximal that is the cell body cyton at that time nissel's body the rer when they get damaged it is called as chromatolysis and on the in the similar question if you look for uh, the worst prognosis in the nerve injury that is common peroneal nerve now continuing with the next question this is again a fact based question and we all know that in the contraction there is shortening of h band i band also shortens whereas a band remains unchanged hence the answer is option number c now next question this is again a sort of clinical question that uh, basically japan they eat a fish that is known as puffer fish and and the puffer fish has a toxin and that toxin name is tetrado toxin now that puffer fish toxin if not cleared and if the fish is eaten it leads to the blockage of voltage gated na channels so hence the answer is b and on the same note lambert eaton myasthenic syndrome is when then there is auto antibodies against the voltage sensitive calcium channel so if lambert eaton then calcium and if uh, puffer fish then it is surely your voltage sensitive na channels now the next question this question is from excitation contraction coupling and in excitation contraction coupling the acetylcholine which is released via exocytosis requires snare protein and that snare protein is not known as synaptobrevin so yes it is true and we know that botulinum toxin destroys this synaptobrevin or snare protein and this causes flexit paralysis so there hence the answer is true now the next question now this question is a calculative based calculation based question and what is given here are the values of latent period con contraction period and we have been asked that tet uh, tetanizing frequency okay so tetanizing frequency is a formula of 1 upon contraction period so if we put simply the value 1 upon 50 millisecond convert into suitable units and then you get the answer 20 hertz so that that is the no va value of tetanizing frequency what is tetanizing frequency it is the value required to achieve complete tetanus okay complete tetanus is sustained contraction due to continuous stimulation we keep giving stimulation and hence muscle gets no time to relax and this is known as complete tetanization so that is known as tetanizing frequency now the next question this is again a sort of fact based question actually length tension relationship curve is there and in that curve we know there is a point uh, at the value of 2 micrometer this is the sarcomere length at which maximum tension is seen or generated so this point is known as optimal length of sarcomere and its value is 2 micrometer next question passive tension this is again a fact based question actually there are two types of tension generated so first of all is active tension active tension in a muscle fiber is generated due to actin myosin interaction passive tension passive tension is due to the elastic protein that is tighten and then there is total tension which comprises of active as well as passive tension so hence the option goes as c tighten next question if we see now now this question is based on the types of skeletal muscle fibers we very well know that skeletal muscle fibers are of three types type 1 type 2a type 2b and we have divided them and the type 1 are the small fibers type 2a are the large and the type 2b are also large difference is type 1 is red type 2 is also red but the type 2b are white basis on the myoglobin and if we know that myoglobin is present in 1 and 2a hence the oxygen 
can be stored there now due to the aerobic pathway followed in type 1 and type 2a and anaerobic pathway followed in type 2b there is anaerobic glycolysis in type 2b causing lactate formation and hence this fiber are this fibers type 2b are prone to fatigue hence the answer is type 2b are fast fatigable fiber on the similar ground type 1 and type 2a are fatigue resistant and out of that 2a are fast fatigue resistant fibers whereas type 1a uh, type 1 is the slow fatigue resistance fibers. This can be summed up in a table which we will be releasing shortly. Next is now the next two questions are based on strength duration curve and in strength duration curve you need to know two values. First is Rio base. What is Rio base? Rio base is the strength. Rio base is the minimum strength of current required so that we can produce response and that minimum strength of current is equal to 1 milli ampere. And where is Chronic Z? What is Chronic Z? Chronic Z is two times of Rio base current when provided then the time required to produce the response and this is equal to one millisecond so if the question says that chronic C is the measure of strength so this is wrong because chronic C is not the measure of strength it is of the time duration whereas next question if we see Rio base is the maximum strength this is again wrong because Rio base is the minimum strength of current required to produce response so both these questions can be solved out now the coming questions can be based on the gate theory. In the gate theory we know that a sodium channel exists in various states. So the first state in which sodium channel exists is rest state. Rest state is a closed state and in rest state closed state what we see there is an M gate and there is an H gate. The M gate is closed and H gate is open. Where is in the inactivation state which is found in the at the time of repolarization M gate is open and H gate is closed. So hence the uh, answer for this question is B option whereas for answer the next question rest state is D option. This is again a simple definition based question. We know there are two types of refractory period absolute and relative. So the firing to one third of repolarization is called as absolute refractory period whereas the uh, in the question it is mentioned as relative refractory period so hence it is false and so is the answer. So continuing with the next question. This is again a fact based question proteins comprises 18% of the body weight and we very well know 60 is the water value. And now this is again a fact based question that ECF and ICF we know very well that ECF comprises one third and ICF comprises two third hence the answer goes B. And this is again a fact based method in dye dilution, met dye dilution method we basically check the body water uh, amount and and for that various indicators are used for various volumes so inulin is an indicator of ECF volume similarly various other indicators are there for each of them so we will release them shortly in a table compiled so we hope that you like the quiz we are surely improving thank you do subscribe and share for the upcoming updates